in early morning queues at this North London superstore, just waiting for the daily delivery of those turtles. The turtle hype has now reached such an extent that there's a virtual stampede to buy the creatures when they arrive in the shops, with parents anxious not to let their children down at Christmas. The rat. Yeah, Splinter. I've tried several stores and they were, you know, out of stock within half an hour of being brought into the stores, you know, so I decided I would queue this morning. We've come all the way from Lake Special to get the turtles. Um, are, you, are you pleased that you've got them this morning? Especially pleased, yes. Friends have got one or two, but that's it. It's a money-spinning business, particularly during the run-up to Christmas. In the South End evening paper, there's an advert for turtles at more than double shop prices. Because of the scarcity, parents are willing to pay. Others are just glad they've got them. Power Between 1988 and 1997, Playmates produced around 400 action figures for their TMNT toy lines. In the first four years of the TMNT toy line, Playmates grossed over $1 billion in sales, making them the third best-selling toy line at the time, coming in behind the iconic G.I. Joe and Star Wars toy lines. Amongst the various successful TMNT toy lines released in 1990 was the storage shell Donatello. This toy's card was stylized with the familiar brick back artwork and the villain Scumbug. The weapons were housed on a tree and consisted of the fish knife, shark fin hatchet, sewer slingshot, and two throwing stars. A pizza unique to this toy and of course Donatello's weapon of choice, the bow. Storage shell Donatello was such a success that Playmates smartly released the rest of the brothers a year later. That piece is mine! No, it's mine! Would you guys stow it? That should be easy for heroes on the hinge. Half shell, the storage shell turtles. Well, back up! Why, well, you're right! The storage shell opens to reveal an assortment of wacky weaponry. There's a specialized arsenal for Michelangelo, Leonardo, Donatello, and Raphael. Pretty handy. Especially when the foot strikes, then the turtles can reach back and really shell it out. Yeah, we got a real as you can see and read in Chris Fawcett's Rad Plastic book, the prototypes used the same Donatello arms and legs on the new sculpted heads and torsos on the other brothers in this pic, just to basically get an idea of how they would look. Of course, eventually each figure got unique legs and stance. Some things were the same with brick back cards and a unique bad guy on each one of their cards, but unlike Donatello, the weapons were not on a tree, but loose in their packaging. These figures were a massive hit and remain as some collectors' favorite version of the Turtles. So much so that they re-released these storage shell Turtles in 1994, with a few variations such as giving them black belts instead of the normal colored ones. Also, the most unique and coolest difference is their different colored translucent weapons, which not many figures got. One other big surprise that is hard to tell on some of them, uh, but is their different color skin tones compared to their original ones. And lastly, I would say their least impressive change was to the card back itself. Around this time, they started to implement sort of a basic uh, card back for most of their figures. And just to be clear, there were two re-releases uh, of this storage shell. Originally it came with the white text and collector card and then they did another release with a different warning label with no collector card. And some might think with two re-releases that these black belts would be easy to come by but you'd be wrong. These black belts are pretty hard to find uh, and tracking down all of their translucent weapons is a whole nother dilemma on top of it. But that's the fun part guys. So let me go ahead and show you a couple examples here. Here is a loose Leonardo, which is the easiest of the four to find, $250. We have one on card, no collector card, uh, asking price $600 for uh, Leo on card. And here is some of his loose weapons uh, on eBay asking $199. And that, my friends, is why I'm proposing that these black belts get put on the Holy Grail list. Let me know down in the comments what you think, but let's go ahead and start comparing these guys here. Some of you big time collectors might not even have known that these things existed. Funny story, uh, my black belts are complete, but my regular storage shells aren't complete. Uh, but here are the swords, uh, translucent yellow for the black belt Leonardo. So essentially all the molds for all of the weapons uh, are the same. 
uh, but they just come in the translucent colors. Leonardo gets yellow, uh, Raphael gets green, Michelangelo gets blue, and Donatello gets red. But more on the other turtles later. So yeah, guys, honestly, I am completely obsessed with these black belts. Um, I started picking them up about a month and a half ago. I got Michelangelo on Whatnot off of Mutant Collectors, a fellow seller on Whatnot. And then I was able to pick up this Leonardo from a real cool dude. His name is Isaac Ortiz. And I just wanted to thank you personally. Thank you, Isaac, for hooking me up with this awesome Leonardo storage shell. All right, starting with the easiest one to find, Leonardo. Let's go ahead and compare these two and see if we can see the differences. Obviously, the front yellow part is a slightly different color yellow. Uh, in the gums up here, I can see that the uh, blue one has some red gums and the black belt up there doesn't have any coloring except for the white teeth. And it is slightly hard to pick up on camera, but the skin tone itself is slightly different on the black belts. It's a little bit lighter. And of course, the shells on the back, the belts are black on the black belts and the belts are blue on the originals. So yeah, guys, even the shells are unique to these guys and uh, finding a replacement black belt shell would be uh, pretty hard as well. But yeah, definitely some color variations. And as you'll see later on, some of the skin tones are a little bit easier to tell than the other ones. But yeah, guys, that is Leonardo. So let's go ahead and move on to the next rarest one. All right, the next one is, who's it gonna be? Donatello, the next rarest, hardest one to find. And like I said before, some are easier to tell the differences than others and this one here is definitely way easier that skin tone is way way lighter uh, than the original version um, looks like that front shell part is relatively the same um, the gums i believe are a little redder on the black belt version man these things are just so cool I love finding all the different variants for different uh, figures and stuff like that. So these ones were right up my alley. But yeah, the gums are definitely a little bit more red on the black belts. On the originals are definitely a little bit more pink. And let's get this uh, chest part. Yeah, eh, maybe a little darker uh, on the black belts, but uh, not too much. All right, and let's get to these accessories. We've got the red translucent bow staff, which I always thought was kind of uh, funny that they gave red stuff to Donatello and different colors to the. Never mind. Anyway, but yes, the black belt Donatello gets the red accessories, and let's go ahead and check those out. Here is the red slingshot versus the original. And just in case you didn't read the file card, Slingshot does not actually work. Next up, let's take a look at this pizza. And as you can see, they look pretty similar. Maybe a little bit more toppings on the left. But, uh, oh yeah, actually and some more lines on the right, on the original. So that's kind of cool. What do we got next? We've got the fish knife, which again is a kind of an odd weapon. Uh, very weird, but cool. But uh, same mold, same look, just a different color. We got last, shark fin hatchet. Another odd accessory, but hey, I'll take it. Thing looks great. Super, super stoked to find it and have it in my collection. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus. There we go. We got a good shot of it there. Good Lord. And of course, comes with his two ninja stars. Whew, those things were a pain to find. And like I said, some came with collector cards. Here is the one for Donatello. Things to note, the eyes had pupils, which obviously the figure does not. Next up, we've got Michelangelo. Like I said, I picked up this black belt off of Whatnot and uh, got it off Mutant Collectors. I think I got him for a cool $170, no accessories, which is a pretty good deal for these guys, considering how hard Michelangelo is to find. And the accessories I was able to locate on eBay cost me a pretty penny, but 
as you can see those stickers are very similar um, so that's kind of cool and like i said michelangelo has the blue accessories here is the uh, nunchucks that he comes with but back to whatnot not a sponsor uh, but i do sell on there um, I, I would like to have them as a sponsor if whatnot is watching uh, but uh, go on there you can pick up some great great tmnt deals and steals um it's just an awesome app and uh, i'm up i'm on there all the time so uh, if you're on there look me up give me a follow and uh, pop in say what's up here is michelangelo's flashlight uh, i always thought that that was a pretty cool little accessory and especially oh let me got these backwards I'll put that nope that goes there and yeah guys those are the accessories here's the two stars and that is all the accessories that the storage shell comes with but let's go ahead and bring these in for the real thing and uh yep and on that chest plate you can see a little bit darker on the black belt uh the mask or the uh, the orange on him is a little darker on the black belt the, the skin tone is definitely different this one like the leo a little hard to pick up on camera um, I mean, I can see it. I think you guys can too. The one on the right is a little bit darker uh, than the one on the left. And there's the masks together. The mask is a little bit darker on the left. Not a huge difference on these guys, but if you're into collecting variants, um, I mean, these guys are pretty much a no-brainer. Um, and again here, you got the pink gum on the original versions, a little bit darker on the black belts. They got the 1990 stamp. Uh, they're basically the same mold. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much Michelangelo. Um, again, you got the, the red gums on the left, pink gums on the right. But with this figure, um, the Michelangelo, I was able to pick up a file card. So I was pretty stoked about that. Here is his file card. It is the black and white version that come with the black belt version. The original ones came with the uh, colored file cards, just so you know. And here is the collector card. We got Michelangelo coming in from the top, hanging down. On there, they got the brown weapons, but, you know, obviously, it's got the translucent blue ones. And here is a little bit about Michelangelo. I don't know. I like the file cards. I like the collector cards. I think it's pretty cool. And uh, to have those makes it, like, fully, fully complete. So, all right, guys, here he is. Obviously, it is Raphael, the hardest and rarest black belt to find. He was the last one that I added to my collection. And again, just like Donatello, the skin tone is very, very, the difference is very, very apparent on this one. Um, again, the gums, you know, different coloring, but just a, a lot lighter on the black belt. So I always thought that was pretty cool. Just such a difference between these two, and that is just amazing. Let's see if we can get, let's put these heads together. Uh, kind of see it there, not not that great, but I mean, you definitely see it side by side. Look at the arms down there uh, overlapping. Definitely way darker on the original one. So pretty dang cool, man. I absolutely love these things. And again, that's pretty much why I made this video. I'm trying to get these things on the Holy Grail list trying to get the word out on these guys man i want people to want these things um they are just amazing and i want to share this experience honestly freaking i like i said i just started collecting these things and already finished them but man i mean yeah they did cost me but uh, let's bring out these accessories here we got the uh, puffer fish mace the axe uh, the sai pizza came with a boomerang um, and of course the two stars I don't have two size for him for, for some reason <laughs> but I do have two size uh, for the black belt let's go ahead and bring out these beautiful beautiful green translucent accessories for this awesome Raphael here is the puffer fish uh, mace pretty dang cool if I say so myself all right next up we've got the size here is one and obviously they're a little more uh, bendy than the original one um, but you know I don't mind at all they're just god dang can I get this thing in focus there we go they're just so dang cool I love having them so 
Let's see if I can show it here. Kind of firm on that one, and then whoop, whoop. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty bendy for these guys, but uh, whatever. All right, and here is the green axe there. Got the second sigh. And here is the pizza and boomerang. And the two stars, I'll get those out here. But what do you guys think, guys? Which one is your favorite? Uh, not your favorite character, but which one is your favorite with the differences and the different um, accessories and stuff like that? Oh, I do have the file card for Raphael. Again, it is the black and white, not the colored ones. And let me go ahead and pull out the file or the um, the collector card for Raphael. Again, it's got the tan weapons, but all in all, just another cool collector piece for these things. Um, but yeah, guys, these are the Black Belt storage shells of 1994 and 95, I believe. What do you guys think? Um, I tried to be as detailed um, and give as much information on these as possible, um, but finding information on these guys is real difficult. But definitely let me know down in the comments whether or not you think these things are Holy Grail status or overrated and you're not even going to collect them, not even going to look for them. All right, guys, that's pretty much all I got for these black belts. Um, try to do as good a comparison as I could for them. And like I said, guys, information on these is pretty scarce. So if you have anything to add, definitely leave it down in the comments. Please hit that subscribe button. Give me a like. Hit that bell. That way YouTube can notify you as soon as I drop my next video. And uh, thanks again for hanging out, guys. Appreciate it. I'll catch you in the next one.